is Nick Romick with another tutorial for After Effects. And this one here is um, creating a really cool little lava effect. So if you've ever been a child and thought about how awesome it would be to have lava on the floor, that's what we're going to achieve here. My son gave me the idea. And so this is going to be the effect that we're going for throughout the tutorial. And here's our video. Let's see. Well, this is just great. Are we going to have some popcorn or what? There's a Never really thought of that one. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, so yeah, we've got this amazing actor Ethan here, who is my son, and this not so great actor here, who may or may not be me. And uh, yeah, we just uh, played it in here and um, we, we got this through and uh, this effect uh, is pretty cool. Um, you can do it stock with Adobe After Effects CS6 or you can use a little bit of the help from Video Copilot and some of the plugins that they have. So for this one, um, I mimicked the whole uh, effect of lava, uh, that lava would be on the floor, it would be um, casting some sort of a really bright orange light from the floor. So what I did was I grabbed an old Ikea light that I had and I set that up on the floor at an angle um, facing my son and I. Uh, turned off all the other lights and that's how you got that kind of effect. So once you, uh, well it's behind the camera so you didn't even see it, but if you do see it in any of the shots, what you can do is you can just remove it. Um, you'll see what I mean throughout the uh, tutorial here. So yeah, it's very important to make sure that your lighting is proper um, because trying to make this particular scene with improper lighting is going to just look odd. I'm going to take some footage here of my son and I. It's going to drag that into a new composition, or sorry, a new project. So uh, kind of messing around quite a bit here until we got to the point where we were this is probably about it so i'm just going to trim this over here i'm going to bring it in um and then i'm just going to cut out the end part after there that's good enough so just to make it easier here i'm just going to trim that down to 16 min uh 16 seconds so 16 okay here we go uh, I'm actually going to go into the composition and change the settings here. There's 16, 18. So that'll make it a lot easier for me. So um, first of all, uh, what we want to do is we want to add um, our lava in here. So first of all, what I did was I just went to the beginning here and I just created a uh, mask. I'm just going to mask out the parts that should be uh, lava here. Kind of just went back here, kind of there. It's up to your imagination. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch over this mask to, from add to subtract. So we're just getting rid of that. Um, I would add in maybe a little bit like a five or 10 feather that where you're seeing a little bit. It's not going to matter right now. We can tweak that later. Um, so now you've got no more floor. So what you want to do is just um, replace that floor with a new layer. Uh, and that's going to be a solid. We're going to call this lava layer. Lava layer. Okay. So pretty much what that is, it's going to be below. I'm going to turn this off and I'm just going to create something here. I'm just going to go to my effects and presets and make something a lot easier. So it's going to be fractal noise. Don't uh, get that uh, mixed up with fractal. Just double click on that and we've got this kind of ugly looking thing so um, I'm gonna take the evolution here and I'm gonna write in um, I'm just gonna keyframe it but I'm gonna hold down alt and click on that it's just gonna be an expression here so what we're gonna do is gonna type in time times 100 so that's gonna be it's gonna give us a little bit of animation so you can do a quick um, quick test there you can kind of see something there it's not super important like cool so what we'll do is we'll kind of mess around with um, some contrast and stuff. So we'll change the contrast here just a little bit more. Uh, brightness, I'm going to bring that down a bit. So we've kind of got a cooler look to it. Um, complexity, you can play with that. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it at 6. You know. Um, okay, so we've got that there. So um, that kind of looks cool, but uh, we're going to need a little bit more. So maybe like a colorama. 
I'll double click on that, add that to my layer. It's really neat because there's blending mode here, um, or sorry, color uh, output cycle. If you click on that, you've got some preset palettes. So I'm just going to choose, um, there's got to be a fire. There's a fire here. So kind of looks cool. Um, so that's good enough to start with. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a 3D layer by clicking on this button. If you don't see this button here, there's a toggle switch back and forth, so you can see that. Now that it's a 3D layer, I'm going to do a rotate. Kind of make it look a little more 3D. This is when I'm going to turn on our other layer. I'm going to see how that measures up. I'm going to make it bigger. It kind of goes in like that. I mean, that looks okay. You know me, kind of want to mess around. 3D layers are always fun too. So yeah, that looks about right. So I'm just going to adjust it so it's completely showing. There you go. So now you've got this kind of cool, well, not that cool layer of lava. Um, so if you do kind of a quick render here, you're going to see um, it's there, right? Uh, this is a quarter render so that's why it's a little blurry there so um, we've got that part there so what we're going to want to do is going to add a little bit of flair to it so um, i'm using video copilot uh, i've got a lot of their products because we're really good partners with them um, and what i'm using here is action essentials 2 um, there's a bunch of different fires that we can take uh, so i'm going to grab a couple of these stock images you can get them from anywhere but I'd recommend taking a look over at video copilot they've got a lot of cool stock stuff so it's gonna drag in some fire elements here um, drag them in on top of the layer and then we'll see this kind of neat it's gonna add a little bit of flare uh, rotate that and get that kind of lined up here so it looks like the couch is a little bit on fire kind of line it up enough kind of got something going and then I've got uh, another fire one here throw that in there make it a little smaller maybe throw it on the back there I don't know I could throw it here as well maybe duplicate this one put that over here I mean you, you don't have to get crazy fancy but I mean every little bit helps right so now I've kind of got something like that going on you can add masks and stuff like say like right here you don't want this you can add a mask a subtract mask kind of go around here and then just there you go that way you don't have anything intersecting with your couch so I mean we can we can do a quick preview here still still pretty rough um, it kind of looks cool um, everything you can see there's some stuff here you can tweak with that as well like the fires and stuff so maybe um, this one kind of comes here maybe rotate it a bit more you can get crazy I'm just not gonna go too crazy here with that but play around now the big thing that comes now um, I would definitely recommend and we should have done this already is uh, grab everything here and pre-compose it to something like main comp so we've got main comp there so that's your composition. We can play around with it. Um, what I recommend again is after, uh, sorry, Video Copilot, After Effects plugin. Uh, it's a neat one called Heat, heat Distortion. And um, kind of click and drag it in here. So we've got this here. I bought it just for $24.95. It's pretty neat. You can add in some other things. Uh, you know, the heat distortion, which is going to make a big difference in this video. Um, but I mean, there are ways to do it without the plugin. I just really like the plugin because it is handy and takes a second. So I'm going to show you that. Um, if there's enough interest or anything, I'll show you guys how to do it um, with stock uh, CS6 um, After Effects. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to apply this uh, effect, Video Copilot, and the heat distortion, and I'm just going to apply it to the main composition. Um, you can see it's effect affecting the entire thing. Maybe what I don't want to do is I don't want to have too much, you know, distortion on the actors, regardless of what would be real. Uh, I'm just going to create um, a mask and just kind of put it maybe over about this much, maybe distort a little bit, but not their faces a bit over there. I'm not going to get too crazy again. Um, 
And then I'm going to go into the mask, and of course I'm going to add a feather, because I don't like those sharp edges. So I'm just going to do like 5, maybe 10. Maybe just get to 10. Let's get crazy. So, there you go. You've got this. I'm going with the stock noise pattern and everything. You can play around with it a lot if you want. But you'll take a look. I'm going to switch this to full, so you guys can see a full preview. But it really kind of adds to the effect, because, I mean, it kind of hides, you know the flatness of the, the lava itself, and then adds that kind of extra feature um, to it. So now you've got this really neat effect, you've got fire moving around, you've got this heat distortion. You can play with those again, like I said, uh, around this section here, you've got distortion amount, heat amount, heat bias, you can mess around with that. Even wind speed, you can add a slight wind direction um, to match these, these flames here. Um, you know, you could do whatever you want, but uh, that's pretty much what I did. I did a little bit of color correction. I threw some bars on top um, just to make it look a little more cinematic. Um, also, uh, I did go in and I went to YouTube and I downloaded some sounds of crackling fire and stuff so I could add that in. Uh, another cool thing with the After Effects, or sorry, the Video Copilot um, stock stuff is that there's, there's sparks you can throw on as well if you want to throw a few of those on. I wouldn't go too crazy hiding too much stuff. Depends on your video again. Um, so let's just do a quick preview of what we're seeing here. I've turned the sound off so we don't have to listen to me talk any more than we have to. And here we go. There we've got this, this neat kind of look there. I feel it, it might be a little too much um, with the heat distortion. So you could turn that down in the distortion amount. I think last time I did five and it might have been like that. So you could play around with it. It's really neat. Uh, play around with what it, what you like, you know, mess around with it, see what you get. Um, and then, and then let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. And then again, if there's enough interest on um, doing this without the heat distortion plugin, it's quite a bit of steps. So, I mean, I would recommend using the video copilot plugin, but again, if you guys want to do it stock or you're using some sort of other software and you want to get the basic idea, I will do it in After Effects, but you can get that idea anyway. So, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, uh, let me know, comment, let me know how I'm doing. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the next video.